Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to voice chords when you're comping a 12 bar blues in a band with a bass player. Uh, a blues in C, in its most basic form, just uses three chords, C7, F7 and G7. And I'm going to show you a very basic kind of voicing. First of all, which just uses the notes, the root, third, fifth and seventh of the chords. No upper extensions at this point. For C7, we've got two voicings. We're going to call this voicing A. The left hand plays the third E, the seventh B flat. The right hand plays root and fifth, C and G. We're going to call this voicing, voicing B. The left hand two notes, the third and seventh, have been inverted now. So the left hand plays the seventh at the bottom, then the third, and the right hand plays the fifth and the root. Now, when you're going from C7 to F7, this is a root progression down a fifth. If you play voicing A for C7, then play voicing B for F7. Play voicing A for F7. Now just look at the smooth voice leading there. If you look at each individual part, first of all, the first chord C7 in voicing A, the third of the chord at the bottom E just drops a step to the seventh of F7, the seventh B flat drops a step to A, the third of F. C is common to both chords, so stays in the same place. And G, the fifth of C7, just drops a step to F, the root of F7. And exactly the same thing happens in uh, when you start with voicing B. When you're going from G7 to F7 in the 12-bar blues, these chords are just one step apart. The root just goes down one step and therefore use the same voicing. So for instance, if you chose voicing uh, B for G7, then also choose voicing B for F7. When you're going from G7 to C7, uh, this is once again a down a fifth root progression and therefore alternate the voicings. So if you chose voicing B for G7, then choose voicing A for C7. Now we're going to look at a more advanced voicing. We're going to add two upper extensions to these chords, a ninth and a thirteenth. This is voicing A. We've still got third and seventh at the bottom of the left hand, but we've added a ninth D. The right hand, we're playing A at the bottom of the right hand, which is the thirteenth. D is another ninth, so the ninth is doubled. G at the top, the fifth. This is voicing B. Seventh and third at the bottom of the left hand, and then A the thirteenth, D the ninth, G the fifth. C at the top, the root. Now once again, when you go from C7 to F7, whichever voicing you choose for the first one, choose the other one for the second one. If we choose voicing A for C7, choose voicing B for F7. Now, do you notice just how smooth that voice leading is? There's only two notes that actually move. The third and seventh at the bottom drop a step. All the other notes stay the same. The D in the C7, which is the ninth, becomes the thirteenth in F7. The A, which is the thirteenth in C7, stays the same place and becomes a third of F7. Uh, and at the top, the G, the fifth of the C7, remains in the same place and becomes the ninth of F7. When we talk about voice leading, imagine all these notes being sung by members of a choir. Each one of them has to sing a note belonging to that chord.
But think of the horizontal aspect as well. When they go from one chord to another one, they want to go to a note that is nearby so that the whole thing sounds very smooth. When you're going from G7 to F7, once again, whichever voicing you choose for G7, say voicing B, choose the same one for F7. And everything just goes down one step. When you're going from G7 to C7, once again, this is a down a fifth chord progression, so alternate the voicing. So if you chose B for G7, choose A for C7. These voicings are very useful. Um, they are used uh, a lot in, in modern jazz blues and they're kind of must know voicings. If you look at the shape of the right hand, you notice that the intervals are perfect fourths. The A to the D is a perfect fourth. The D to the G is again a perfect fourth. And this particular sound has become, you know, uh, one of the sort of hallmarks of modern jazz. So you, re you really do need to know these voicings. Hope you found that useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.